I want to return briefly and succinctly to the significance of the article that was in. I found out it was the New York Times. I wasn't sure when I saw it if it was the New York Times um, or the Wall Street Journal. Uh, but <clears throat> in any case, the article, uh, the, the headline of the article is Don't Go Down the Rabbit Hole. Uh, and uh, it, it tells you to eschew critical thinking because critical thinking does not help in the war against misinformation. And it's hard not it's hard to um, overstate the significance of the appearance of an article like this in a, in a major publication. It's a kind of watershed event. And I want to just briefly, succinctly discuss why that is so, because, you know, it's it's re reverberated uh, in my mind ever since I found out about the existence of this article. I just, uh, my, my brain just boggles at uh, the fact that they allowed something like this to be put out there. But then again, this is the time that they are openly telling us things. They're telling us... The Great Reset is underway. It's in Time Magazine. Uh, they're telling us, we rigged the election. Of course, we didn't really rig it. We safeguarded it by rigging it. Um, and they're putting all these things out there in front of our faces. And now they're saying, don't believe uh, your critical thinking skills. Don't exercise critical thinking. Just believe what you're told. That's what they're actually saying to us now. I mean, I just... Uh, well, let me put it this way. In a prior time period, a time not too long ago, the, uh, the anti-conspiracy theory people, the people who always use the bogey of conspiracy theory, oh, you're just, you're, you just, you're just formulating a conspiracy theory, you're just a conspiracy theorist, you, you know, you need a tinfoil hat, the people who talk that way, their, uh, their method of, uh, of rhetoric would be to say that conspiracy theorists are people who just who are ignorant they they don't have real knowledge and the little bit of knowledge that they have uh, and and their their tiny uh, uh, intelligence their their lack of IQ makes them susceptible to all these crazy kooky conspiracy theories right that's what they would have said in the past that's what they did say in the past and so they would say the remedy to conspiracy theories, again, their words, conspiracy theories, the bogey of conspiracy theories, uh, the remedy to that was knowledge. You know, you, f you found out the truth of things, and then you see that these conspiracy theories uh, just uh, are ridiculous. They, they don't make any sense. They don't add up. Uh, and uh, you mature past them, and you, you, you grow past them as your intellect grows, and... and uh, <clears throat> and uh, you become somebody who who uh, is uh, who has a grounded uh, um, intellect, uh, an intellect that's grounded in reality. That's what they used to say, but not anymore. Now what they say is, don't spend too much time thinking about event A, event B, event X, event Y. Don't spend too much time. Uh, don't let your mind wander. Don't start exercising your critical thinking skills and ask yourself questions and then look into sources and, you know, start, um, investigating what exactly is meant by this, you know, how this, you know, these, these two pieces just don't add up, uh, uh this, this entire, uh, story that they're putting out there has so many holes in it. Next thing you know, you're going down the rabbit hole. <laughs> the, 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 the headline of that article is don't go down the rabbit hole. So what are they telling you now? They're telling you the very opposite of what they used to tell you was the remedy to conspiracy theories. They used to say that, that, uh, conspiracy theories will go away once more people are, uh, cease to be ignorant. <laughs> But now they're saying the the key <laughs> the key to avoid becoming a conspiracy theorist is to be ignorant. <laughs> it's amazing. They're saying the key is not to not to be uh, not to, to exercise your critical thinking faculties, 
not to spend too much time uh, questioning anything. Just say, saying to yourself, okay, here are the sources, here's what happened, uh, and I'm just going to believe this because I don't want to go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to fall for, I don't want to become somebody who starts propagating misinformation. <sighs> I mean, this is a really watershed moment. Things have flipped on their ear, uh, you know, in so many ways, but, but this, that article just crystallizes the, the, the way in which, uh, again, the, the upholders of, uh, the uh the stories that you know the 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 stories that we're supposed to believe uh the conspiracy theories that we're supposed to believe like 19 hijackers on september 11th blah 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 um the upholders of these kinds of uh dare i say narratives uh they're getting more and more desperate and now they're telling people don't think stop thinking stop stop exercising your critical faculties don't do it. You'll, you'll, next thing you know, you'll be going down the rabbit hole. I mean, just stop and think about that. That's really something. That's really amazing that that's where we're at right now. Just a thought. My name is Andy Nowicki. You can check out my work at altrightnovelist.com.